I'm Chef Ange. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my kitchen. On today's episode, I want to show you a nice homey recipe, my Salisbury steak. This isn't the Salisbury steak that you had in school lunch or that you got out of a frozen TV dinner. This is an elevated version. It's really delicious, uses a lot of nice ingredients and won't break the bank. For the full ingredient list and directions, check the description box below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can find out when I drop new recipe and tip videos every week. Let's get cooking. So for this recipe, we're going to use some ground beef and you can use any fat percentage, doesn't really matter, the lean stuff or the full fat. We're going to throw in some seasoned panko breadcrumbs and now we're going to use our tower shredder and we're going to use the big holes on that. We're going to take an onion and we're going to shred that right into the mix. Now we're going to take the small holes on that same tower shredder and we're going to shred in some garlic and the garlic and the onions are going to add some nice flavor. They're also going to add some nice moisture to the meat from the inside out. And I'm just going to shred those in there, making sure I'm not getting my fingertips. I'm going to throw one egg, a little bit of fresh chopped parsley. And now we're gonna season with some pepper. Fresh ground's my preference. And a pinch or two of salt. Now we're gonna get in there and we're gonna mix so all the ingredients are combined, but we're really gonna try to not over mix. So once you feel that everything is combined, you can stop and try to be as efficient as possible. Now we're gonna take our meat mixture and we're just gonna try to separate them out into balls. You wanna figure out how many patties you're gonna make and then try to make balls that are about equal size. Once they've all been separated into about equal size, we'll take them and we'll smush them into patties and we're making sure that we're using our hands around the edges to make sure that nothing's too loose and the patty's nice and tight. Now let's prep our vegetables. So we'll take an onion and we'll turn it sideways and we'll slice it lengthwise. I like the onions inside my Salisbury steak to be like long and stringy. We don't want them chopped too fine. But we do want to chop fine is our shallot because we want that to release flavor into the sauce and kind of just disappear. We're going to do the same thing with our garlic. We're going to mince that really nice and fine and just keep working our knife with our rocker motion over the garlic until the garlic is really nice and fine, about the same size as those shallots. Now we're also going to take some mushrooms and we're just going to run a knife right over the top of them and chop them and slice them. So now we're going to heat our cast iron pan over a medium high heat or probably even over a high heat. And we want that oil to smoke on contact because as soon as we put those patties in there, the pan's really going to cool down. And we want to make sure that we're getting a nice sear on these patties. So once they're down, we're just going to let them sit and we're going to make sure that they're going to develop a nice crust on the outside. And that's going to take anywhere from two to four minutes based upon how hot your pan is. Once you see a crust developing around the edge, we're going to flip those over nice and carefully. We're making sure not to splash the oil or damage any of the patties. And now we're going to let that same crust develop on the other side. So once those have seared for a few minutes, they don't have to fully cook all the way through. We're going to remove them. We're just going to place them on a plate next to the frying pan because these are going to go back in there right after we make our sauce. Once the patties have been removed, you can turn down your heat to a medium heat and then we'll start building our sauce. So now let's take our onions and we'll put that right inside the oil and the fat that's released from the patties. We're going to let those cook for a little bit until they're a little translucent and start to take on a little color. Then we're going to dump in our mushrooms and we're going to move those around the pan so they get coated very well with the cooking grease that's already inside the pan. And once those have started to soften just a little bit, we're going to add in our shallots. And in goes our garlic. And now let's move that stuff around the pan until it becomes very fragrant and those start to soften and let their flavors into that mixture. This is a great time to season with salt and pepper. Remember, whenever we're seasoning, we're always seasoning along the way. We'll throw in a little bit of tomato paste. 
and we'll try to mix the tomato paste into that mixture and try to make sure it's spread throughout the pan. The moisture from the pan will soften up the tomato paste and you'll incorporate it as best as you can, but when we put the rest of the stuff in there, it'll really mix in very nicely. So once that's mixed in well enough, we're going to add some beef bouillon paste for a little flavor upgrade. And bouillon paste is really concentrated flavor, so it's really going to add a wonderful flavor throughout this. A little Dijon mustard and some Worcestershire sauce. I never know if I say that correctly. We're also going to splash in a little bit of beef stock. And now we got a nice liquid to have all of those previous ingredients mixed well throughout. And if you notice the pan's a little dry, we're going to splash in a little bit more of that beef stock. And we're trying to create this sauce so that the patties, when we return them back into the pan, they can cook into that sauce. So now that the onions have softened, our mushrooms have softened, and that sauce has come together nicely, we're going to put these back in there. And I don't like to use any flour to thicken the sauce. If you use enough onions, onions release a little bit of jelly into the sauce, and they give the sauce a nice creamy texture as opposed to being watery. Now we'll take some of the onions and the sauce and we'll cover the patties with that. And we'll let that come up to a little bit of a boil. We'll turn down the heat to low and then we'll put a cover on top and we'll simmer for anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes so those patties can cook all the way through and the vegetables can continue to soften and the sauce can really come together. So once that's done simmering, take the cover off and voila, Salisbury steak. Got a wonderful sauce. These patties are cooked all the way through. And now we'll take some of the sauce, the mushrooms and the onions, and we'll just spoon them over the top. You know, I look at Salisbury steak as the complete dish. It's not just the meat, but it's the meat plus the sauce, the sliced mushrooms, the stringy onions. And the last thing we're going to add here is going to be some fresh chopped parsley for a little pop of color and some freshness. And now look at how delicious and homey this looks. And you can serve this with mashed potatoes. You can serve this on top of rice. Maybe you're watching your carbs and you want to eat this just by itself. But no matter how you're going to eat it when you're serving it, just make sure that once you put the patties on the plate that you spoon over that wonderful sauce and those onions and those mushrooms. I can't wait to try this. This smells so good. I love the smell of beef cooked with onions and mushrooms. I mean, this screams home cooking. Super easy, really, really delicious. Mm. Super moist. Mm. That's so good. I mean, in the past, I'm thinking of Salisbury steak, we're thinking like TV dinners, but this is elegant, really, really nice, super duper savory, saucy. I mean, what's what's to hate about this? It's a nice bite here with the mushrooms, the beef, the onions, plenty of sauce soaked all the way through. Mm. Oh man. Well, I'm Chef Ange. This is my Salisbury steak. Uh, let me know in the comment section how your Salisbury steak comes out. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. And if you did like this video, give the like button a little love right now. Thanks, and I'll see you on the next one.